Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name, once again, is Jason. And today we're back with some more Manhunter New York. I am finally set up again. Once again, my basement is finished. I've got my own desk. My recording setup is good. And I am ready to start playing games for your entertainment. And mine, of course, because um, obviously if I, didn't like, if I didn't enjoy this, this would be miserable. But I do, and I like this game. So we're going to play this game. So last time we left off, we were um, about to enter the museum, which I suspect is going to be another hellhole. Uh, much like the rest of this, you know, the rest of the other locales in this game. So let's go ahead and press enter to move in the direction of the arrow. So this is a really strange looking museum, but you know, this I don't know if this is actually how it looks, because I've never, never been to New York. I'd like to go there someday, but probably not in orb invaded New York, because that would be unpleasant. And I, I, I really don't think those... Uh, the brown robes would really accentuate my legs. It would make me look kind of... It would make me look weird. Anyways. So let's take a closer look at this door. And I should hit enter, not shift. Hmm, that appears to be some sort of keycard slot. If only I had a keycard. Do I have a keycard? There's... I have nine keycards. Oh, snap! I just remembered something. Yep. Alright, guys. Um, I remembered something. I actually put something together, um, um, and I believe actually a viewer suggested it. I, I, I'm pretty sure a viewer uh, gave me the, the clue, gave me the solution or something, and I don't remember, remember your name. I'm very sorry. I will look you up and maybe give you a shout-out next time, but one of my wonderful viewers uh, went and uh, pointed out that I've got nine key cards, but there were more key cards than that in the uh, arcade game. Which means I need to go back to the maze uh, and grab the additional key cards that I missed the first time. Ugh. And I already started recording and I forgot to jot down a ma uh, my map. So, I guess this means there's going to be another cut in the video at some point. Wonderful. Love it. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, I don't have any papers, so. We'll be right back. Alright, sorry for the delay that you didn't even notice because I went and cut the video. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've taken a nice screenshot of the arcade game. So we're actually going to go back, because uh, I suspect, because there's a keycard slot, right? I suspect that this is the point where we're, we are going to need the keycards. And I just remember that tip from that viewer, so thank you. You probably saved me a bunch of headache. Uh, I would have liked to have appeared all macho and awesome and figured it out myself, but ultimately we both know that I'm, I'm pretty, you know thankful for that. So, let's go ahead and hit, uh, 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 wait, how do you travel? I can't remember to travel, holy crap! Ah, it's F3, isn't it? It's, it's, it's F3, I don't need info. Uh, buy, I need to type buy to get out. C to close mad, I should just, I should be paying attention to the on-screen prompts. Alright, so, to get to the cave, we need to travel to the, the toilets! Right, the, the, the latrine, the, the pooper place. That is actually going to stick. Uh, yeah, pooper place. That, that, that is gold right there, people. The pooper place. What, what is that? What was in my coffee this morning? Holy crap. Pooper place. Wow. I apologize in advance for myself. And I also apologize in retrospect. For myself, I can't remember which door I was supposed to go in. It was was it the the ladies. I'm pretty sure it was the guys, but we went into the ladies' room just because we felt like it. All right, sitting down, flush, flush, and flush. It was the ladies. Awesome. Wait. Wait a second. I recognize this song. Is this the same tune from Space Quest? Yep. Du, 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 du. Oh, I need to check that out. All right. So we start off, and there's a turn to the right, and then we turn, and we are ahead, and we are looking to the which is up on the map. Now we're gonna go look straight. Now we go straight to the very end. Oh, no, no, I got turned around. Holy crap, that went too quick. I should not have done that. Okay, this is where I came from. Okay, 
This way, then this way. Let's go a little bit slowly, slowly, Jason. This time we need deliberate action. We got to the end, we turn here. There should have been a key card right in front of us, but there wasn't. Then we turn around, we go back, um, and now we go straight. Now, last time I think we hugged the left wall, was it? All right. Now, if we go straight up, mm, we go up one, then we're gonna turn left. Turn left again, and then we're gonna turn right. We're gonna go straight until there's a right turn. Um, wait, no. No, we go, s sorry, I'm, re I'm referencing the map on my, my other screen. Maybe I'll edit in uh, the map so you can kind of see um, up in the, you know, up in the corner or something w roughly where we're at. Um, actually, that sounds like a good idea. That would, I think that would help with the experience. You guys, so you can uh, guys can kind of follow along and visualize what I'm seeing. Uh, so I'm gonna go straight from this point. Um, uh, there should be another right-hand turn here. I go straight, then turn left. Left. Okay, I already got that key card. Turn around, back out, back out. Straight one, turn left. Go straight one, turn left, straight one, turn right. Uh, then I turn left, straight, then turn right, straight. There was a key card there originally. Turn right. Um, we go straight one more time. Now we're at a fork. We probably want to go right from here because we're facing down. And then we turn left. And then go around the corner, and there's a key, key card we didn't have before. Nice, okay. Alright, so straight, we go around the corner. Go up one. No, wait, 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 wait. We turn right. Uh, then we go straight, all the way to the end. Down, straight, left. Straight, turn right. There's the other key card. Yes, two more. Key we got two key cards. So that puts us up to 11 key cards. If I recall correctly, we are only missing one now. We are key card collecting champions. Yes, okay. Um, so we turn up there. Now from here, we want to turn right, I think. Okay, let me examine my map here. I just turned right. So that puts me somewhere where I'm lost. Great. Um... Okay, if I go straight and there's a branch to the left, I'll know where I'm at. Okay, I know where I'm at. Um, oh man, this is confusing to look at. Really sorry, guys. Uh, okay, let's try going left. So go left, straight one, then left again, then turn right, then turn left. Then turn right, straight one, and turn left. Turn left again, straight down to the end, and turn right. Turn, uh, there was a key card there, but there isn't now. Okay, so that's where the key card was. We are looking here. We're gonna go. We don't want to go straight because that's a dead end. Straight, then turn right. Turn right. Straight. Left. I'm uh, sorry. I'm, I'm totally. I'm totally gonna. I have to put a, a map up in the top corner or something for you guys, because this is probably confusing as heck to look at. I'm, I'm confused and I'm looking at a map. Um, so turning right, and then we have the branch left. So we go left, and then we have the opportunity to go straight or right. We're gonna go right, straight, left. Right, then we're gonna turn this way here. I think I know where I'm at. Um, straight, and then it'll probably curve right. If I'm if I'm right, it'll turn right. There we go. And we go straight, and then we turn left. And then we turn left again, straight up, until we get to the, the left-hand turn. Left, right, straight to the end. Um, turn right here, turn right again, straight, 
and that's the last key card because there was 12 right let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we've got 12 all 12 key cards that's all we needed so now uh, I should be able to just hang the uh, wait yeah we'll uh, go left uh, left again then right straight right up left yeah so from this point here if I just hug the wall left I should be able to get out of here so that's what I'm gonna try doing uh, because that's what, that's what I did the first time right and that, that got that got me through so if I just hug the left wall I shouldn't have to waste time basically uh, examining the map every you know two seconds and not that the map will help now because I now now I am hopelessly lost I've just started going nuts so there we go let's go ahead and save the game in case something horrible happens not that it really matters too much because uh, as you know in Manhunter it lets you just come back to where you left off it's actually really forgiving for how deadly of a game it is all right let's go ahead and head back to the museum now that we have 12 key cards we should be ready to tackle the museum I don't even know if that's what where we're supposed to use the key cards I just noticed a slot that looked like a key card slot so I said yeah let's do that uh, wretched excess nice cl ni nice club it's a nice club it's where Barney and the Teletubbies hang out <laughs> that sounds a lot more terrifying than this game uh, Barney and the Teletubbies when I was like, you know, when I was a kid, I was actually not creeped out by Barney, but the Teletubbies, those guys scared the heck out of me. Seriously, those guys were like freaky, especially with their Sky Baby. He's like, ah, 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 laughing at you. It's like, free man, Sun Baby's creepy. All right, let's take a closer look. Um, actually, let's explore around before I start entering key cards into stuff. Oh, okay, let's. Oh no, no, um. This navigation system is terrible. What if I take the stairs? Oh no. Um down the stairs. No. Uh Oh man, I'm so going to get Let's just let's, let's just use a key card. So let's hit tab. Use one of the 12 key cards. Click. The key card goes in with a satisfying click. The machine then eats the key. No! Okay. What? No! It ate my key card and then it wouldn't let me through. Maybe it's a good thing I saved. <laughs> Alright, so as soon as I use the key card, I have to go through it right away or else. Um. Alright. I probably should be referencing the map from my MAD. That way there I can know which way the guy went, and I don't waste all my key cards. Actually, let's do that. I just hate that I, I have to keep referencing stuff. I feel like that's... It's taking time away from, you know, what we could be... What we could be doing, and I don't even remember which guy I need to track for that. Uh, middle guy. Yeah, middle guy sounds good. Let's skip. I think it's the middle guy. Please be middle guy. Come on, middle guy! It does sound like a racehorse, doesn't it? No, it's not middle guy. Darn it! No, middle guy was Central Park guy. No, it's alright. Uh, no, I don't. I, I just. Tracker. No, I don't want to. Oh, I gotta sit through all of this again. You know, I, I do have to say something. 
Uh, well, I do have to say a lot, because I'm sitting here and we're obviously looking at something we've already seen before, so I better be able to fill up the space, right? Um, I had, when I, like I said, when I was younger, I only played San Francisco. And I've got to say that San Francisco fixed a lot of the problems. Actually, I don't even know if I want to say a lot of the problems. Maybe, maybe it's just that the San Francisco was designed in such a way that it was actually easier than New York. And uh, that's kind of what I was used to because, you know, I've played through like Myst. I played through Riven without a walkthrough. I beat both those games without any sort of help. That's because I went in expecting convoluted and really in depth puzzles, like where you had needed to pay attention to everything. Um, you know, everything was a clue. You have to look at everything, examine everything in minute detail. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what you have to do with Manhunter in New York. You, you can't just. Uh, you basically you need to take notes, and I need to be approaching this more like I did with Riven, uh, than um, than uh, I did with uh, San Francisco, because San Francisco is a, I'd say a lot more of a forgiving game. So are you the museum guy? I think you're the museum guy. Last guy in line. Yes. All right. So he goes through the first, the first, uh, the first door. He goes through the front door. He walks on through, and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go straight up the stairs." So he's on the second floor. From the second floor, he turns left, goes through the only passages he can, and then he goes up the stairs to the third floor. From the third floor, he goes straight, and then basically goes up to the fourth floor, and then, holy cow! I pr really probably should have jotted all this down. I, I, I need a piece of paper next to me. I normally, I, I used to have a piece of paper next to me. Uh, I, like, I, I used to when I, uh, but, like I said, I just got my desk set back up and I forgot, I inadvertently forgot to, you know, put my piece of paper there. So, we're going to turn to the right, and I think right out of the gate, the guy basically heads up the stairs. Then he immediately took a left, if I recall correctly. Oh, please tell me he took a left. It was a left, right? It was a left? Left, right. No, it was a left. So we'll use the key card. All right. We go through there. And then we have to use the, the key card on this one. That's right. We just keep going straight until we get to the next set of stairs. Um, down to 10, ten key cards. This place actually would really suck. Like, think about this. This eats your key cards. You could get stuck between doors and then you're dead. All right. So we're now up on what third floor? Yeah, we took the stairs up to the second floor. Then we now we are now on the third floor. Let's actually uh, load up the mad because the signal's too weak. What? Okay. Um. Oh dear. So I can't use the mad here. So do we go straight? I think we go straight. So we're going straight. Straight. Oh, please let me... Be going the right way. Turn right. Insert my, one of my last... Of my six key cards. Through this door. Okay, okay. Then we go up the stairs to the fourth floor. Now the fourth floor, didn't he cut right? Right out of the gate? I think he cut right. I've only got four key cards left. Please let me be going the right way. Straight. Uh, then he turned right again. Straight, straight through the. Oh, it's already an it's an already open door. Let's go ahead and save the game here as um. Herm. I've only got two key cards left, so I'm I'm glad that door didn't require a key card. So through there. Straight, straight. The last door. Fingers crossed.
Ah, oh, Shazbot. Data card? No, okay. Somewhere along the lines, I took a wrong turn. Oh, fiddlesticks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop recording here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my uh, paper that I usually have, and I'm actually going to map this out, give myself some directions. And then uh, next time, we will probably successfully navigate uh, the uh, this this maze. I really hate 3D mazes. It's, I hate them. They're, they're, they're evil. Uh, I think the only sort of maze I've ever liked, like 3D maze-ish, like in, in an adventure game, was the uh, the Catacombs in King's Quest VI, which hopefully someday I'll get uh, a chance to play for you guys. But until that day, and until next time when I actually successfully navigate the museum, I'd like to ask you all to game on.